well over 10 years. I've had trials and errors when it comes to caring for my natural hair. However, one thing I have discovered that works for my fine natural hair is something that may be controversial to some, but I know what I'm talking about when I use this product. If you were to say to me, Michelle, don't, don't show us no makeup tutorials because you don't know what you were doing. I would say, you know what, I agree. Because I'm really not, I, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not even a makeup enthusiast. When it comes to, you know, making myself look presentable, I just do the bare minimum. I have terrible skin. And so, you know, if you have any tips that you want to share with me on how I can get my skin looking better, even makeup tips, I, I will gladly receive them. I'm Michelle from Fine Natural Hair and Faith, and in today's video, I am responding to something that someone really rude said to me, which was, you need to give up henna, it's failing your hair. I said it, I think, a little nastier than that, but that's basically the premise. Now, first of all, let me say this. I've been using henna for about maybe eight years. I just started from my the beginning of my natural hair journey because I was just learning my natural hair and it was things I didn't know about. What I do know is that the Indian women who started out with the use of henna, their hair is extremely long, it's extremely strong and extremely resilient. You may look at my videos and think, oh, henna's not done anything to your hair. This channel, Fine Natural Hair and Faith, is not a very old channel it's not been around that long I used to have another channel radiant brown uh, just Michelle aka radiant brown beauty which is still out there and you can go back and look at some of those videos but let's respond to this accusation that henna is failing my hair okay so for starters before you can make a judgment like that you need to be able to look at before and after photos right okay so Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Let's look at some pictures. Now, it is 2017 right now, October, as of the recording of this video. See, we got to get dates right so that there's no discrepancies. In January of 2017, that was about, what was that? This is October. So we got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Okay, it's, we're 10 months from the time that I big chopped. I had about seven inches removed from my hair and I probably didn't need that much taken off but I did it anyway I just allow myself to think you know okay this is something that I need to do fine no problem so I've been using henna before I did the bit chop and I did started using henna after I did the bit I've been consistently consistently using it over a period of time and what I have discovered is not only do I have more shine, my hair is a lot more resilient to breakage. It's a lot more manageable in most, in most areas. And it has definitely increased in length. This is a wash and go. It's up right now off my shoulders because I do engage in protective styling as well. But now let's take that trip down memory lane. Now let's go back a bit further to around when I first started using henna, just in case the 2015-2016 comparison wasn't enough proof for you. Notice in the 2011-2012 to 2012 photos, my hair was dull and the curls were lacking in uniformity. I also had a lot of straight pieces and much of my curl pattern was undefined. Then in the 2013 through 2015 shots, notice how my curls are more voluminous, a lot healthier and taking on a bit more natural shine. What's apparent during both time periods of which I was building upon my regular use of henna is how I've managed to retain length. Here's my hair from January to now. In the January shot which was taken right after my big chop, my hair is pretty short. In October, the month we are in now, my hair is pulled up and appears to be the same length, yet if I were to pull my hair up on the side in the January pick, like in the October pick, it would appear much thinner and much shorter. Today, not only is it longer, notice how much more dense my curls are. 
Okay, so as you can see, henna did not fail my hair. In actuality, it helped my hair to thrive. So before you make accusations or just, you know, make determinations and decisions based on something you have no knowledge of, take several seats and do your own research. Thanks for watching this video. Have a very blessed day.